Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful things that you want to do to me here at Talia's Tarot. Because you do it to me so well, baby. So if you want to mow my yard, I'll let you. <laughs> I hate mowing. <laughs> I'm going to slap the holy water down. I think next month I'm just going to hire somebody. Cut my grass. Mow my lawn. Do my dishes. Do my laundry. Make me a sandwich. <laughs> so, you know what time it is. Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T.T. T. Dong, presiding. You may all be keep standing or whatever you want to do. Just get comfortable. <laughs> so, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with or whatever energy is going to be coming towards you, my beautiful loves. Whatever the case is, we're going to get it, we're going to hit it, and then we're going to quit that together, baby. Oh, it's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday to you, mom. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mom. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, mom. I love you. <laughs> yep, today is my mom's birthday, and she is... 64 years old and boy is she she is fine as can be mm -mm. <laughs> she's looking like a snap and yes she's a gemini yes she's a gemini so show Ooh, top to bottom let's go again show Let me get out my sword. Let me get out my pentacles, otherwise known as useless pesos. <laughs> They're no good. Isn't that horrible? Yep, these pesos are no longer any good. But they're they're so beautiful. And I just, it just makes me sad. Oh, these poor pesos. Okay, Pisces, down here on the table, we've got the four swords, the two of pen, the ace of swords. Uh, the overall energy for the reading here is the Knight of Wands here, Pisces. So there's a impulsive, um, there's some kind of impulsive action here, okay? All right, that this person's wanting to, uh, it's like, eh. they wanna do something here, but it seems like the situation is pretty complicated, okay? Not gonna lie, there's huge complication here. Probably because your person here, what did Kitty do? Meow, meow. Kitty is upset because Kitty, what did Kitty do? Kitty broke his leg. Can we hone in on that? Can we hone in on that? Okay, there we go. So your person here, they broke their leg. That's pretty painful. I know, I know, I broke my knee. Oh, tell me about it. That was horrible. Jeez. Okay, but whatever it is, um, it, it's like this person is... They're being forced to set with themselves right now, okay? This is basically what's going on, okay? This person is being forced to set with themselves right now, and that is never good, because then when you have to set with yourself, all of a sudden you start, all, everything that you buried and suppressed, it starts coming up, the walls start closing in on you here, and basically when the walls start closing in on you, then it's right there, it's like time for a change, okay? So this is a heavy energy here that your person's carrying. And here they are, you know, this person, your person, kitty. Meow. They're uh, really not a very, they're not a smart kitty. <laughs> 
This kitty, your person, is riding on a unicycle here with a blindfold, juggling pentacles here. And honestly, if, uh, you know, they're not gonna, they're not watching where they're going, so this person could literally fall off the cliff here. So this person really needs, they need to open their eyes here to something here. And I don't know what it is. We're gonna have to clarify that here as we get into the situation. But they're very much blinded here, okay? So I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna be able to overcome this. We have the Ace of Swords, so it's like, Ace of Swords is all about, you know, well, it's about victory here, honestly, you know, victory. It's all about all about truth here, too. But, I mean, in this particular deck here, this is definitely, you know, this person here blowing the trumpet saying, doo -doo -doo -doo, victory has been had here, okay? So, I don't know. But it's clarity coming in here. Oh, brother. So, why is this person being forced to set with themselves in this Four Swords right now? Why are they sitting in this Four Swords energy here? Because there's something here. This Four of Swords, now to the Four of Wands. This is a card here of communication here in this particular deck. So there's something here. They're, it's like they're not saying it. So they're thinking about how they're going to communicate this to you. So what are they wanting to communicate to Pisces, please? What are they wanting to communicate to Pisces here? Okay, they're needing, well, they're needing the balls to do it. So what's going on here? Let's go. Strength here. What's going on? Whoa, the card's really shot in the other room here. Hold on, guys. Okay. Oh, Pisces, Pisces. This person here wants to come in and basically tell you they're in love. Pisces, somebody wants to tell you that they're in love with you. They've been sitting in the house. There's the four of pentacles. We got four, four, four. Oh my God. They've been holding this back here for quite some time. So this person's thinking about how am I going to tell Pisces that I'm in love with Pisces? How do I tell Pisces this? I don't know. I don't know if Pisces is going to, you know, like this, uh, but it's like, <laughs> it's time for this person to open themselves up here, okay? They, they're, that's, so they're in their house, they broke their leg, maybe they're sitting there thinking about you, the walls are closing in. I feel the energy, guys, I feel the energy. This is something, it's a, it's a, it's a, I'm feeling, it's like, I'm feeling it almost in my knee, my ghost knee. <laughs> I do have a ghost knee. When I tore my ACL, they put a human cadaver, uh, you know, another person's ACL in my leg. And ever since they did that, I became psychic, apparently. <laughs> I call it my ghost knee. So my ghost knee is talking. My ghost knee is, like, screaming. Yeah, this person here is in their house with their broken knee. <laughs> They're like... How am I going to tell Pisces I'm in love with Pisces? King of Cups here, okay? Oh my God, Pisces. <clears throat> but there's something here that they're blind to. Let's see what your little kitty here is blind to. What are they blind to? Two of Pentacles. Yep, what are they blind to here? <laughs> Jesus. They're, they're like, I don't know how this is going to work out. This is basically, they're like, they don't, this is just a repeating message. They basically don't know how this is going to work out. So it's like there's a lot of, you know, uh, they're very scared. They're, they're like, I don't know how this is going to work out. And they want it to work out well. This person might want to even bake you a cake. Hell, I don't know. They could. They might want to bake you a cake. I mean, might as well. Oh, bake my mom a cake, by the way. If you're going to bake a Pisces a cake, can you please bake my mom a cake? <laughs> Card. Nobody's baking your mama cake. Oh, that's just shitty, Judge. I can't believe she just said that about my mom. I think it's time ooh, I overturn this judge. She just said she's not going to bake my mama cake. Who is this judge? And how cruel is she? This is, a, this is some bullshit. I don't like this judge. So it's like... They don't know how this is going to work out. They're wanting it to work out well, but it's like there's still something that this person energetically needs to go through. 
They have got to literally go through something major here, okay, with judgment here. There's something that's going to be forced upon them that they're going to have to took, take a second look here. They're going to have to take the blindfold off at the end of the day, Pisces. Oh my God, Pisces. So if they take the blindfold off, it's like they're going to they're gonna be forced to take the blindfold off. I'm not joking you. Because once they're forced to take the blindfold off, with this Eight of Pentacles, they're going to have the ability here, you know, to see what they need to see here. So it's like they need to, there, there's some experience here that they're going to acquire here. What is this experience they're going to acquire here with the Eight of Pentacles? Yep, and there it is. That is the experience. Was that Knight of Wands just came back out, and that Knight of Wands was the overall energy for the reading. So, <sighs> they're going to have the ability here to make an impulsive action, is what is coming through. And what is this impulsive action here with the Knight of Wands? There we go. It's the star. It's healing energy right there, Pisces. So basically, here they're going to have the ability to 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 pour into to pour emotions here into the situation. Okay, that's what they're going to have the ability to do. This person's getting ready to pour some emotions here into this situation. Ooh la la, bonsoir. <laughs> so why is the Ace of Swords here? Yeah. Because it's like, at the end of the day, this person is wanting to have victory here when it comes to working with you, Pisces, and building something here. This is what is literally coming through here on this particular reading here, this, this energy here. They're wanting victory here with this Ace of Swords on building here in, like, in this situation. Okay, I get it, I get it. <laughs> Any more in on the Three of Pentacles? Let's go. Yep, there it is, that Knight of Swords there. Yeah, it's like, it, it's going to be, this person, literally, this person's going to, this person wants victory. I'm just getting it. They're going to come in here, Pisces, and this person here is going to straight up tell you that they're in love with you here after they've thought about how they're going to do this, Pisces. Oh boy, well, well, well. Okay, let's go clear it off with the white sage and get the final messages, and then we'll close off this reading. Okay, it's the two of cups here. So this is a, they're feeling a strong soulmate connection, soulmate recognition. There's been a heart to heart here. It's like they're, they recognize your heart. High Priestess Pisces, this person here is very powerful intuitively here. I feel like if you, you could probably pick up on this energy that's getting ready to come towards you too. There is some kind of psychic connection between the two of you. And we got the Knight of Pentacles. Pisces, this person's getting ready to liberate themselves here. Ooh la la, bonsoir. Tarot's adjourned. You know what to do on the way out.